Okay. Hello, people. Good evening. How are you? Adelie, Bye. welcome. How do you feel Hi. today, Adelie? Very nice. Good ya no me muero. <laughs> you better not, right? That sounds pretty good. That's ya me va a conocer en, en mis buenos tiempos, ya va a ver. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty amazing. Hi. Good evening, people. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Good evening, One more time. everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome on this beautiful day, which is Thursday. On Thursday, right? We will continue working on today's class. Um, and let me show you really quick what are we going to do today so then we can get into the material that we have available for today. Okay, um, so this is going to be today's agenda. This is class number four, and we're going to get into uh, infinitive in gerunds. Okay, um, I think we saw it before, and today we're going to reinforce this information. We're going to have more practice and like to like review what is this thing about. We have two ways that we can use in, in, in Jerome's. We're gonna have two examples today about it. Obviously, right, if you notice it, we have Jerome's and infinitives in different contexts. We're gonna take a look with uh, one content today, okay? And we're gonna have a different example. Also, don't forget that you have the platform where you have the different exercises available for you. So you can do this exercise and you can practice more with more material available in this website. I hope that I can have the chance at the end of the class so we can like review. We have section number one and section number two for today. Okay, so you can do it. You know what I mean? I hope that all of you uh, already like have already done something uh, on section number one and number two. And if you have a question about an exercise, we can all all then together here in the class. Aleli, go ahead. Yes, teacher. Uh, ¿Puedo decir solo en español? Oh, please, go ahead. Este, ahora descargué lo que es el material, eh, el nuevo material para este módulo, pero hay unas cosas como que no concuerdan con lo que está en, el, en la plataforma. ¿Será que es material diferente? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know. Because the material okay. that we have here, you're supposed to have it, the material in the resources. You know what I mean? The same material that you have available in these sections, you should have it in, in that resource. Okay, so I don't know why it's gonna have different. Um, maybe you can send that material to me so I can check that, um, Aleli. Okay, and, and okay. I can figure it out what is the reason why. Okay, okay. that will be good. Uh, because the only material that I have available for me as a teacher is this one that I have here. It's the same material that you have available. Okay. Okay. So uh, when you say that, it's like for me, like <laughs> I, I have no idea. Yes, I see you. I see you the materials um, and see you the um, platform in noise. Mm, no, um, it's um, t um, come. Uh, algunos temas no son los mismos y exactly. a veces mm -hmm. están relacionados. Hay una exactly. relación. Y, a, a veces pues estaba ojeándolo y estaba adelantando un poco y como que no. Pero bueno. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. sorry about it. Okay, just, just send yeah. the material to me so I can check that on the weekend and I will let you know on, on, on Monday. Okay. Yeah. Um, other question. Um, in section for in section three, uh, audio one audio mm -hmm. no intel no intel no se entiende no understand oh, el audio okay. Okay. Uh, yo no sé si soy la única que no entiende el audio porque está um, o muy suave o mal ma, mal mal no sé no sé si mi máquina es la que la tiene mal pero se está riendo verdad porque es, es parte del trabajo no 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 worry Aleli. we will check that at the end of the class i hope that we can have the chance to check that Okay, uh, yeah, sometimes that, that thing happens, you know what I mean? It's like, there is like a video or maybe an audio that doesn't doesn't work or maybe doesn't fit, right? But thank you so much for letting me know so we can like contact the uh, technician so we can fix this thing for future, let's say modules, right? For future courses, Aleli. Thank you so much. We will check that exercise today, okay? So we can figure it out what is the reason. Okay, thank you so much, Aleli. That's probably good. 
Great job, John lady. Thank you so much. Okay, attend them. Give me a minute. Because I have to take it. Give me a minute. Uh, okay, I need to find your okay, here we go. The usual suspects. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh today is Thursday. Finally. I love Thursdays. Thursdays and Fridays are my favorite days. Aleli. Good evening. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Uh, Anna, Cecilia, Rodriguez. Hello. Anna, Cecilia. Hello. No? Okay. What about Anna, Cecilia, Romero? Good evening, teacher. Present. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Anna, Cecilia, Romero. I'm sorry. I said it again. Anna, Yadira Mendoza. Uh, good evening, teacher. I'm here. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Bridget. Hello, Bridget. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm here. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Carmen Escamilla. Carmen Escamilla. Hello, Carmen. Are you here? No? Okay, okay. Let's continue. Uh, Cesar Ramirez. Present, teacher. Welcome, Cesar. It's nice to have you. Um, Thank you Eddie. so much. Guzman. Edith. Hello, Edith. Edith? Edith, are you here? Yes or no? No? Okay. Continue with Tampa. Yes, that name is Eduardo Najarro. Hello, Eduardo. Hello, teacher. Present. Nice to have you one more time. Elvis. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Wonderful. Thank you, Elvis. Um. We check on um, Emerson, Alexander. Here. Perfect, Emerson. Welcome. Hi, Stephanie, Jamilet, Aparicio. Here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening and welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Fatima Asensio. Good evening, present. Perfect. That's beautiful. Great job. Jaime Aldana. Jaime. No. Okay, let's continue with Jose Enriquez. Good evening, teacher. Nice to have you again. Welcome. Um, Karen Ceseña. Karen Ceseña. Hello, Karen. Are you here? Oh. Present. Oh, oh thank you. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Uh, Laura Arce. Good Present evening. Teacher. Good evening. Thank you so much. What about you, Marvin? Are you here? Yes, Present yes. Teacher. Welcome. Oh, Miguel, Angel, Quintanilla. Good evening, teacher. Present. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's nice to have Thank you. you. Uh, Morena, Guadalupe Fuentes. Hello, teacher. Welcome, Morena. Thank you, teacher. Oscar Rodriguez. Hello, Oscar. Good evening, Oscar. Are you here? No, I think he's missing. What about Raquel Santos? Hello, Raquel. Are you here, Raquel? No, no, she isn't. What about Santiago Chavez? Hello, Santiago. Hello, hello, no. Okay, he's absent. What about Santiago? Oh, oh my gosh, I mentioned twice that name. Oscar, Raquel Santos, Santiago, and Bill. No, Santiago tiene, tiene encendido el audio, pero el micrófono, pero no le escucha, creo oh, yo. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Oh. Está tratando de, ahí está gritando el pobre. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Aleli, thank you so much. You're so nice. Great job. And Vilma. Vilma? Are you here, Vilma? No. Okay. Yes. Hello. WhatsApp hay dos mensajes de asistencia. Oh, oh, let me check. Thank you so much. Okay, let me see, Vilma. Okay, she told me already. Uh, Karen. Okay, somebody said. Uh, uh, okay, Cecilia. Okay, sorry, Ted. 
Sorry to hear that, Cecilia. Okay, that's not a good news. That's not a good news. Okay, I'm sorry about it. I hope everything goes well. Okay. So it's nice to have you people. The weekend is there. We can feel it, right? We can feel it. Also, um, we have a bunch of th uh, things to do on the weekend. Bridget, question for you, Bridget. Do you work on the weekend, Bridget? Excuse me, teacher. Do you work on the weekend? <clears throat> I work on I'm at home. Oh, you work at home. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. What about you, Santiago? Chavez, do you work on the weekend? I think your mic doesn't work, Santiago. Yeah, I'm sorry, Santiago. Tiene encendido todo y no, no, no se le oye. Doesn't work, oh, Santiago, your mic doesn't work, I'm sorry. Raquel Santos, good evening. Hello, Raquel. Good evening. Do you work on weekends, Raquel? No, I try to relax in home. Oh, really? What do you do yeah. on, on, on weekends? Um, watching TV. Uh, I try to pass with my family con tiempo de calidad. Or like spend time, spend good times. Yeah. Spend good time. Yeah, uh, talking with my mom and I'm playing with my pet. I have a pet. Oh, what is that? Yeah, it's a Rottweiler. Oh, okay, That's, is that like big or small thing? It's big, it's big. Okay, <laughs> that's very good. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay. Miguel Quintanilla, hello Miguel, good evening. Hello teacher, good evening. Oh, what is your favorite place? What is your favorite place? Like if you have vacation, what is that place that you go when you have vacation? Uh, visit uh, the beach. Oh, the beach. Okay. Uh, can you swim? Uh, I I work in the department La Union. Oh, that's very good. Uh, la distancia de la casa a las playas son 10 minutos. Oh, so you live in La Unión? Yes. Oh, that's very like far, far away. Yeah, that's pretty much like very <laughs> like, how's the weather over there, by the way, again? How's the weather? Is it hot? Like, like, how's the weather over there? Okay, like, how's the weather? Like, here in San Salvador, it's like somehow warm, let's say. Warm. It's, it's the common, like, ni tan helado, ni tan, like, caliente, right? But what about La Unión? How's the weather over there? How's the weather? Difference temper uh, temperature. Mm. Temperature. Siete grados versus... Uh, Like, is it is it hot, warm, or cold? Uh, warm. Warm. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing that, Miguel. It's nice to Thank see you too. one more time. Okay. Um, we're going to have some practice on this one. Computers. What do you know about computers? Are you good using computers? Mm -hmm. We're going to rate this thing. Rate your computer usage, right? What are like these things? What are these like activities that we do, or what are the like the purposes of this uh, of using a computer? So when you have a computer, you use a computer like for what reason? Okay, so uh, I'm gonna give you like two minutes so you can check the different things that you have here. You can select often, sometimes. Hardly ever, 
or never. So you need to pick one of those four, right? I use a computer too, and you pick up the options. I'm gonna give you two minutes to do so, and then you can share your answers, okay? Do you understand at home? Do you understand? Uh, Emerson, do you understand what are you going to do? Yes, teacher, I understand. Okay, perfect. Si alguien me entiende, let me know anytime so I can repeat the instruction, okay? If, if you do not understand, let me know. You are going to like select how often do you use your computer to do these things that you have in the list, right? You have different things and you need to check how, like, how many times or how often do you use this thing? Yep. Eso me imagino que es el conforme a la vida diaria de cada uno. Exactly, right. So, because you, you, you have your computer and you use your computer for different reasons, right? Depending on the way you use that. Maybe your job. Teacher, para muchos, la computadora se sustituyó con el teléfono inteligente. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Es mucho más práctico. Yes. Aunque para el otro, la computadora es más indispensable que el celular. Pero no le quitas el lugar a un celular, un iPhone, no se va a comparar con una computadora. Bueno. What, what happened with Alcatel? What happened with Alcatel? Un Nokia. Un Nokia. Oh, Eran los primeros. Misión, misión, misión. Un no, 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 no podría no, ser no, el celular. No, no, el ladrillo de Nokia con el Xiaomi. Sony Ericsson. El Xiaomi está bueno, está, es como la competencia del iPhone. Just los filtros, right? We have different filtros <laughs> with, with Xiaomi that are not good. Teacher, aunque por motivos de, digamos, en el caso mío, que tengo que trabajar con, con, con diseño gráfico, eh, me cuesta, si sí hay programas en celular, pero en, en computadora no es más práctico. That is right. You must use your computer. You must use your computer. That's true. Okay. Todo, de, todo depende del trabajo de cada, de cada quien. Exactly. Yeah. Exacto, depends. porque en algunas empresas también no te dejan usar el celular, sino que tienes que estar directamente conectado con la máquina. Ok. For security Me reasons, right? Punto, por favor. For security reasons, there are some companies that don't allow, like, cell phones. Yes. You, you must use your computer. Teacher, yo siento que el teléfono es más cuestión de más práctico para lectura para ver para para o sea, en el momento adecuado poder ver un archivo poder enviarlo pero para editar para trabajar es necesario la computadora yeah that is correct right for example zoom classes right um, i need to use a computer to do so like i, I must use a computer uh, i mean i have a cell phone that that works properly However, it's, it's somehow difficult to, to teach English like using a cell phone, you know, because, um, I mean, I can do it, but um, it's hard. So I, I need to use a phone. Okay. I don't know if you finish at home with this thing. I don't know how you check, how you check the, uh, the different options that we have available, like, and, and also depending on on the things we're gonna have some some random participation. Not all of you will do it because of the time, but um, I would select some random people like Janira Mendoza. Janira Mendoza. Hello, Janira. Sorry, sorry. Have you Hello, teacher. Hello, Janira. Have you finished with this um, thing? I I think so. Okay, can you let me know your, your answers, please? Thank you. Only the first one? Uh, like the different options that you select. Ah, okay. The different <clears> options <throat> that you select. I use a computer often in my job. Um, for, for watching movie, never. To play games, never. To shop online, Never. For doing job assignment, often. Uh, to learn language, often. For video sharing, never. To check the weather, never. To read the news, never. 
uh, for the Lowy Music Network. Thank you so much. Very good. Great job. Let me have Edith Araceli Guzman. Thank you. Edith, can you let me know the options, um, please? Okay, I think Edith doesn't have a mic. Um, let's continue with you, Vilma Cartagena. Thank you. Let me know your uh, answers, please. No, here, Vilma. Teacher. Excuse me. Teacher, yo creo, que, yo creo que Vilma escribió en el chat que no se iba a poder uh -huh. conectar. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, maybe she, 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 like, she doesn't have the chance to participate. Maybe she's doing something else. Let me check. Because she wrote, she wrote something in the chat, as far as I remember. And I think she was having an issue with her relative. Ah, okay. Let me see. Dice que si está conectada, dice ahí en el chat. Yes. Está conectada, teacher. Yeah, yeah, but I think, um, can you like turn on your mic? Can you turn on your mic? Ya me escucha, teacher. Yes. Okay. Santiago. Back to the game. Back to the game. Hi, guys. Ay, ¿cómo tomo? Aquí tratando de arreglar este volado, ya la arreglé. <laughs> Okay, so let me know like the options that you selected, please. Okay. Yes. Um, I use I use my computer um, to send email sometime. Can you hear me? Nice and clear. Continue. Okay. For watching movies, hardly ever. To play game, often. To shop online, often. For doing school assignment, sometimes. To learn language, often. For video chatting, hardly ever. To check the world, hardly ever. To read news, hardly ever. For the land music, never. Thank you, very good. Okay, we have assignments, languages, and downloading. Downloading music. Do you remember back in the days how we used to like um, download music, right? Yeah, back in the days was difficult. Let's continue. Okay, here we have Infinity with Jerome's, right? You have a video about these ones. I think we couldn't couldn't watch that um, in class because of the of the video, right? But here you have it. We saw this thing one a little bit um, in in the previous class. So we can take a look. We got, we're going to work with purposes. Uh, what is Miguel? Miguel, can you help me reading this uh, grammar information, please? Thank you. My gosh, it's Miguel. I think it's Miguel. No, no, no. Excuse me, teacher. Yeah, can you help me reading this information, Miguel, please? Thank you. Divinities. And Herundios for using and purpose infinities. I use my computer to send email. Some people use computer to play games. Computer are often used to watch movies. Very good. Continue. Uh, Herundios. I use my computer for sending emails. Some people use the computer for playing games. Computers are often used for watching movies. Thank you so much, very good. Okay, so we have this, this thing with purposes, purposes in here, right? We have infinitives to send, okay. to play, to watch. Thank you so much, Miguel. Gosh. And we have germs, again, for purposes, for sending emails, for playing games, for watching movies. Now, both of them means the same. I mean, the sentences means, means the same. The message is the same. However, the difference is here we're gonna use infinitive and here we're gonna use germs. 
está Lila. Where is Tal? No, I'm sorry. What I'm saying, Dalila. What I'm saying, Dalila. Well, let me see. Okay. Oh, Stephanie. Jamilet. Hello, Stephanie Jamilet. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Um, fine. Okay. Do you understand this material? Uh, how I say, más o menos. Okay, can you tell me? What, is, what do you understand about this material? Um, I understand that after the World War, we are going to use ING germs. And the use of infinities and germs, I don't know. I don't know, it is correct. That's quite correct, very good. That's quite correct. Okay, if you see this one, we have four, and after four, we're gonna use the ING. That means gerund, right? That means gerund. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's have okay. some exercises for practice. You have some exercises also in the website, right? So you can do it. But here we have like more examples about this one, right? Let's take a look. We're gonna have used, be used, these ones that we have here, okay? We're gonna use used and be used. Be used or, oh my gosh. We're gonna have be used and then we're gonna have two or we are going to have four, okay? So we're gonna use be, that means the verb to be. Do you remember the verb to be? Yes? Yes? People at home, do you remember verb to be? Yes. Oh, perfect, perfect, thank you so much. And so, the expression is going to have a verb to be, we're gonna have used to, used to, or we can have used for, yeah? So according to the context, that is the way we are going to do it, okay? I'm going to give you like, let's say three minutes to do this exercise, and then uh, you can participate by raising your hand so we can do it. Uh, together, this one. Um, I don't know if, if you understand at home. Again, again, to complete this exercise, you are going to use the verb to be. Then you have this word that is used. And you need to select two or four according to the grammar structure that we have here. Here we have the beginning and then here we have the complement. Yes, questions at home? Everything clear? Who is different uh, of the USA two or USA to four? Oh, what is the difference between the yes. use when we use? Okay, so if you notice, if you notice, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. If you notice in the previous exercise, in the previous grammar structure, which is this one, here we have the difference. What is the difference? Well, if you notice here the structure, right? You need to be careful with this one, okay? That is the difference. Both of them means the same. However, here we're gonna use two and here we're gonna use four. After two, we have the verb in infinitive and after four, we have the verb with I-N-G, which is gerund. Okay, so for doing the exercise that we have here, you need to figure it out. What is next? Okay, for example, in the exercise, if you notice, we have two, right? Credit cards are used to. Why? Because the verb here is an infinitive. Okay. Okay, so you in need the to... second is sending. Exactly. Is so, exactly. Yeah. That is the way. Oh, Very okay. Good. Okay. Very good. Thank so that's you. The I way. Understand. That's the way. Emerson, do you have a question? Eh, ¿Puede regresar a la diapositiva anterior? Oh, sure, sure. Give me a minute. Eh, acá, cuando yo digo yo uso mi computadora para enviar eh, correos, ¿cuál sería la traducción en, en la parte del gerundio? Yo uso mi computadora para... ¿Cómo sería la traducción acá? It's the same. It's the same. Mm -hmm. no, la, no, la traducción. Es la misma. Mismo significado. 
Exacto. Pero, pero entonces, ¿cómo lo logro identificar si quiero hacerlo como un infinitivo o como un gerundio? Oh, lo que le comentaba a su compañera. This one. We have two. Y luego el verb in infinitive. Y en the other one tenemos four. Y luego el verb, mire. Changes, right? We have I. No, ok. Eso, eso sí se identifica, pero en la forma escrita. No, yo me refiero a cuando uno lo quiere expresar. Oh, when you, when you, when you like, when you like say it, you can use both of them. Se va con el que usted más le parezca mejor. Mm -hmm. Ah, o sea, no, no importa. I mean, no importa cómo ah, lo, okay. lo dice, right? Pero, ah. at the end, usted puede decir, ah, yo utilizo Jerome's, for example, right? O yo puedo utilizar infinite. It's, it's, it's o sea, you. que eso más, más que todo se basa en la forma gramatical más no verbal. I mean, ah, es okay. una combinación de los dos, you know what I mean? Los dos sí le sirven. You know what I mean? It's like, usted puede decir, oh, I use my computer to send emails. O usted puede decir, I use my computer for sending emails. I mean, ah, okay. I mean, lo que se le está enseñando es que tiene esas two options, right? Las dos opciones. Puedo utilizar okay. la, que, la que más le guste, right? Okay. Tanto usted la puede decir como usted la puede escuchar from somebody else, okay? In, a, in a, the end means the same. No sé si le queda. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go back to the exercise. When you finish, raise your hand so you can participate, okay? When you're ready, raise your hands so you can participate. Thank you, Cecilia. Number two, please. Okay. Number two, computers are, you say, for sending and receiving emails. That's perfect. Computers are used for sending and receiving, receiving emails. Receiving emails. Okay. Very good. Okay. Great job. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, let me check. Aleli, thank you. Uh, number three, the internet are used for downloading music. Porque are. Okay, relax. Go down with that. Let her finish. Let her finish. Okay. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Okay. Is, <laughs> the internet is you say to yes. download in music. Oh, mm. you just look at the verb. Look at the verb here. Look at the verb here. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this correct? No, I'm just saying. Look at the verb. Downloading. Downloading. Download. Is that infinite? It is the two. It is four. Uh, okay, the four. Okay. Is used for what's happening, teacher? Okay, no me confundan. <laughs> no, no, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> what's happening, teacher? Is no. used for downloading yeah. music. It's used one more try, used. one more try. Okay, a <laughs> <In> review. <laughs> Please do it one more time. Re repeat okay. the time. The internet is used for downloading music. Thank you. Used. 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 Perfect. Ya vieron el media, pasado. Ya vieron media el pasado. hora después, used. <laughs> ya vieron el pasado. Yes. Past and the futures. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Somebody else? Very good, Aleli. Um, Karen, thank you, Karen. Uh, for uh, system software is used to 
from the hardware in a computer. Very good. Thank you so much. Somebody else with number five, please. Somebody else with number five. Thank you, Stephanie. Application software is used for doing a specific task on a computer. Very good. We have tasks. Tasks. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Uh, Laura, thank you. Continue. CD rooms are used for storing information. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Bridget, continue. Webcam is used to take photos and post them on the on the internet. On the internet, very good. Thank you so much. Just Bridget, this one webcams is this singular or plural? Plural. Exactly. So what is the verb to be that is plural, Bridget? Is or are? Are. Exactly. Are. Exactly. So webcams are. Webcams are used to take photos and post them on the internet. Internet. Very good. Great job. Thank you so much. Elvis, continue. Number eight. GPS devices are used to get directions. Very good. Devices. Devices. Very good. Great job. Santiago, thank you. Number nine. A mouse is used to move the pointer a uh, computer screen. Perfect. Thank you so much. Great job. And Miguel, number 10, Miguel. Miguel, number 10, thank you. A keyboard. A keyboard. Just to... A cable is used to, no, perdón, a cable is used to typing information on a computer. Thank you so much. Very good. We have keyboard. 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 Y aquí, uh, Miguel. Keyboard. ¿Cómo está el verbo? How is the verb? Is this gerund or infinitive? Gerund. Jaron, ¿cuál utilizamos? For or to? Antes de... de for. 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 Exactly, exactly. So, tiene que arreglar a la cable. cable. A cable. Are used for taping information on a computer. Keyboard, very good. This word keyboard is singular keyboard. or plural. Miguel, singular or plural. Miguel? Plural. Plural. Okay. What, what, is a, what is a keyboard? Pues, de, singular porque es uno. Exactly, exactly. So we have singular. Y usted me dijo, tenemos singular. Is is o es are? Which one is? Is. Exactly. So we have a keyboard. Is. Exactly. A keyboard is used for typing is, information on a computer. A keyboard is used. Okay. Thank you so much. I think we have a little bit problem with with your um, audio. Okay. I guess so. Very good, but it's very good. Thank you so much for fixing the sentence, okay? Uh, we're gonna have like a little bit more practice on this one with Jerome's, okay? Teacher. Yes. Eh, el uso de use, use for cuando es gerundio y use to infinito. Infinitive, exactly. Infinitive, okay, mm -hmm. thank you, teacher. Perfect, perfect. So the key is like this one, right? Infinitive, Jerome. Jerome. Infinitive. Sharon, 
gerund, infinitive. Infinitive, infinitive, gerund. So if you have a gerund, you go with four before the verb. If you have an infinitive, you go with two before that. We're gonna have some pronunciation with two syllables. This information you have it available in your um in the um in the platform. So I won't get into that. But if you notice, we have the intonation in one um, syllable, so you can like pronounce a little bit higher this a syllable. Okay. So um you can watch the video on the website because of the time. I will get into that. I need to move on to the next thing with Jerome. Okay, there is another use uh, for Jerome. Give me a minute, which is this one. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. So we have another reason or another purpose of using infinitives. Okay, infinitives. Okay. Infinitives for giving suggestions. Okay, we saw it before with infinitives, and then we're gonna have uh, if we, we we saw it with gerunds, and right now we're gonna work with just infinitives, and we call them sometimes imperatives as well, right? It's like sentences with no subject but with a minute. Okay, let me see, Jose, can you help me read in this information, Jose? Please for everybody. Thank you. Okay. Um... Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Su suggestions. Be sure to press these keys. Make sure to save your work. Remember to book up your files. Don't forget to include my favorite songs. And try not to be late for the party. Thank you. Can you repeat this one one more time, please? This one remember, in. remember to back back up your files. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay. So what do we have here? We have an infinitive at the beginning of the sentence, right? And we have like expression with meaning. So we have be, make, remember, done, forget, try. This one is negative. It begins with negative, if you said. Don't forget to include. And we have all the words go, that go, I mean, related to the verb and related to the context we are using these ones also, okay? We have some examples about this uh, grammar structure here. Oh, this one is easier than the other one because it's just like imperatives or infinitives giving suggestions, right? Like for example, um, you have like a friend or you have like a, with your, if you are with your children, right? You give suggestions to your children at home. You can use um, infinitives to do that. Let let me show you some examples so you can have a better idea with this one. We have this listening exercise. Okay, so I'm going to play the audio, and you are going to listen um, suggestions about this one. Uh, if you don't hear the audio, if you don't hear the audio. Uh, let me know. I will play it twice. The first time is for you to check what is the item we're talking about this one. All right, what is the item? So you just click the item one, two, and three. And then you are going to write two suggestions that you hear like for each item, okay? And then we will check those together. Do you understand at home, people? Emerson, do you understand? No, teacher, I don't know. Okay, in the first audio, I will, you just need to write one, two, or three according to the audio. What is the, the item that the audio, the audio is saying? You know what I mean? Maybe that could be a video camera. Maybe that could be a- Only, only isolation. Uh, excuse me? Only isolation. Oh, in the first audio, just you need to select oh. the items with one, two, and three, right? Okay. And okay. in the second audio, you need to write two suggestions that you hear from the audio for each item, okay? So the first thing is just to select the item and then write two suggestions uh, like for each of those three 
items. Okay, um, let me see. Marvin, do you understand the instruction? Uh, so the first one is just for you just to check what is the item. Let's listen and check. Okay, teacher. Page 48, exercise 9, listening. Good suggestions. Part A. Listen to people give suggestions about three of these things. Number them one, two, and three. There are two extra things. One. Be sure to use a stand or try to lean against something solid when you're filming with this. If you just hold it by hand, the picture often looks very shaky. Make sure to put in the battery carefully. If you push too hard, you can damage it. 2. Type in where you are now, then type in where you want to go. Make sure to get the exact address, then just listen to the directions. Be sure to watch the road. You don't want to have an accident. 3. Be sure to put it in correctly. Then punch in your secret code. Remember to press Enter. And don't forget to count your money before you walk away from the machine. Uh, you got the items? Or do you want to listen again to the audio one more time? Repeat again, please. Listen again the audio, please. Sure, One sure. Time. Here we go. Page 48, exercise 9, listening. Good suggestions. Part A. Listen to people give suggestions about three of these things. Number them 1, 2, and 3. There are two extra things. 1. Be sure to use a stand or try to lean against something solid when you're filming with this. If you just hold it by hand, the picture often looks very shaky. Make sure to put in the battery carefully. If you push too hard, you can damage it. 2. Type in where you are now, then type in where you want to go. Make sure to get the exact address, then just listen to the directions. Be sure to watch the road. You don't want to have an accident. 3. Be sure to put it in correctly. Then punch in your secret code. Remember to press Enter. And don't forget to count your money before you walk away from the machine. Thank you. Jose? Yes, teacher. The first first item is the camera the second is the gps system and the third one is atm card that is correct thank you so much the third one is my favorite okay pretty much when we have like the end of the month right okay now the second audio the second audio is about write you need to write two suggestions that you hear for each thing so we have one thing, which is this video camera. We have the second one, which is a GPS system. And the third one, which is the ATM card. Yeah. So I'm going to play the second audio and you write the uh, suggestion. And then we will check them. OK, let's listen. Page 48, exercise 9, part B. Listen again. Write two suggestions you hear for each thing, then compare with a partner. 1. Be sure to use a stand or try to lean against something solid when you're filming with this. If you just hold it by hand, the picture often looks very shaky. Make sure to put in the battery carefully. If you push too hard, you can damage it. 2. Type in where you are now. Then type in where you want to go. Make sure to get the exact address. Then just listen to the directions. Be sure to watch the road. You don't want to have an accident. 3. Be sure to put it in correctly. Then punch in your secret code. Remember to press Enter. 
And don't forget to count your money before you walk away from the machine. Okay, one more time. Page 48, Exercise 9, Part B. Listen again. Write two suggestions you hear for each thing. Then compare with a partner. 1. Be sure to use a stand or try to lean against something solid when you're filming with this. If you just hold it by hand, the picture often looks very shaky. Make sure to put in the battery carefully. If you push too hard, you can damage it. 2. Type in where you are now, then type in where you want to go. Make sure to get the exact address, then just listen to the directions. Be sure to watch the road. You don't want to have an accident. 3. Be sure to put it in correctly. Then punch in your secret code. Remember to press Enter. And don't forget to count your money before you walk away from the machine. Okay, one more time the audio or are you are you are you ready? Alili, one more time the audio? No, yeah, no more. <laughs> no more. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Give me number one, please. Um for me, number one, MP4 MP4 player, and two GPS and three uh, ATM car. Yes, yes, but I'm talking about the, the suggestions. Yeah. Estas. Right suggestions. Y tenía que escribir dos suggestions que daba por cada uno de los items. Que son las que va a escribir aquí. Ok. Escribirlas. Y ahí las dice el audio. El audio las lista. Okay. Yeah, okay. Ah, ok. Yes. Si quieres lo pongo one more time. Just to, just okay. To, just okay. To have it. okay, perfect. Page 48, Exercise 9, Part B. Listen again. Write two suggestions you hear for each thing. Then compare with a partner. 1. Be sure to use a stand or try to lean against something solid when you're filming with this. If you just hold it by hand, the picture often looks very shaky. Make sure to put in the battery carefully. If you push too hard, you can damage it. 2. Type in where you are now, then type in where you want to go. Make sure to get the exact address, then just listen to the directions. Be sure to watch the road, you don't want to have an accident. 3. Be sure to put it in correctly. Then punch in your secret code. Remember to press enter. And don't forget to count your money before you walk away from the machine. Okay. Okay. En la primera en donde dice, eh, yo pondría el GPS, que es para evitar accidentes y buscar direcciones. Es, okay. Es, ¿Eso? Um, y en la segunda sería ATM car en donde puedo buscar una um, las machines um, in I have the money ok, Aleli, we will check that we will let you know, ok just, just give, me, give me a minute, let's begin with Jose Jose, thank you ok, for the camera for the camera, he said that don't forget to put the battery correctly because it can be damaged. Be sure to use a stand because if you use your hand, the photo can be shaky. Or something uh, solid. Right? Uh -huh. Against some, something solid. Hmm. And uh, that's it for the camera. For the GPS, she said, Type in where you are and type in where you want to go and listen the instructions. And finally, don't forget to look the, 
to look the raw because you don't want to have an accident. And the last one for the ATM card, be sure to put it correctly. Then tie it, in, push in your secret code and don't forget to pick your money, something like that. Count, count. Oh my God, Jose, count. lo grabaste. Jose, at the end, count the money before, before you leave. Sorry? Count the money, count the money. Ah, count. Exactly, count the money. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, Alili, so at the end, at the end, uh, the, the suggestions, the two suggestions, le tendrían que quedar something like, like, uh, Page 48. Page oh, ¿qué pasó con esta cosa? ¿Qué pasó? Oh, my gosh. Lo que pasa es que ya le faltan tres minutos, por eso ya está desesperado. Mire, por que, ir. mire que esta cosa se trabó. Y creo que ya es la hora. I will take the attendance. Thank you so much, Aleli. Give me a minute. Um, Aleli, you're here, right? Ana, Cecilia, Rodríguez. Oh, no. What about Ana, Cecilia, Romero? Present teacher. Thank you. Janira Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Bridget. I'm here, teacher. Carmen Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Sir. Present teacher. Um, Edith. Edith Guzman. No? Okay. Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Elvis. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Emerson? Present. Stephanie? Present, teacher. And Fatima? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jaime Aldana? Oh, okay. Uh, Jose? Um, here, teacher. Thank you. Karen? Seseña? Laura? Arce. Present uh, teacher. Marvin. Thank you, Marvin. Miguel. Present teacher. Present teacher. Uh, Morena. Guadalupe. Uh, Oscar. Present teacher. Morena. So Morena. Oscar. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. And what about Raquel Santos? Hello, Raquel. Present. Oh, thank you, Raquel. Um, Santiago. Aquí, teacher. Uh, wonderful. And Vilma, right? Vilma, she wrote that in the chat. Yeah, the last exercise was somehow difficult. The listening part. The last one was, it was, it was like somehow difficult. Okay, so I, I'm sorry about it. Um, at the end, Aleli, lo que quería explicar es que le iban a quedar las suggestions como el exercise siguiente. Pero esa cosa se trabó. It's like, he was, telling, he was telling me, like, hey, let's finish this one. Mire, pues. Okay. I don't know why. That's the work. I'm sorry. Sí, le entendí que eran las, las sugerencias que daban con, con exactly. respecto a, a, a... Exactamente. Pero José me dejó sin palabra. Yo creo que grabó toda la conversación, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> Así que <laughs> mis respetos para José. Oh, pero pero nice sí, sí le entendí. Sí la entendí y, y sí, sí, ya le comprendí el tema. Me parece que hay dos personas que están diciendo que sí está conectada, por ejemplo. Oh, oh, let me check, let me check really quick. Edith. Thank you so much. Uh, Edith, very good, Edith. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And also Vilma, yeah, I already checked that. Okay. Thank you so much. Sí. Thank you, teacher. Uh, sí, thank you so much for letting me know with, with the chat because sometimes I'm, I'm busy getting something for you and, and I forget. For example, sometimes I forget to check the... Um, the WhatsApp chat as well, because I'm doing a bunch of stuff. Don't forget that you have uh, in the website, you need to like um, do the exercises that you have over there. Okay, you have a reading exercise, you have some grammar exercises as well. So you need to do uh, for this week, section one and section number two. Okay, uh, so don't forget to do the exercises at home. Okay. Uh, I think it's time to go to bed, right? It's time to go to bed. Uh, unfortunately, time is not enough. Karen? Eh, sí, teacher. Eh, no sé si me anotó en la lista que se me había ido el audio. Oh, yes, Karen. I got you. No problem. Okay. Permítame, teacher, porfa. 
Oh, Santiago, I got you. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay. People, enjoy your weekend. Be nice, be kind, and we will see you on Monday. Take care. See you Monday. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Monday. 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 <laughs> Y el mundo. Ahí sí le sirve el audio. Puro Luis Fopin. Puro fútbol, señores. En la clase no le servía, pero ahorita sí. El ejercicio no me lo puede chiche, pero este gol lo que como lo grito. Sí. What the fuck? Sí. R7. Ok. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.